there's a few things I want to bring up that are obviously directly off of this chapter. Frieza said he was on his way somewhere. Where's he going? Wait, where did he say he was on his way somewhere? So he said, uh, well, it was the part where he says that he was, he came, he, uh, he came here in pursuit of a different target. Okay. Yeah. But so that, so that, so that makes me feel like, that makes me think like this was a pit stop. He was on his way to somewhere else, something else. Okay. We don't know what that is. I have an idea and this ties into superhero. Okay. When you watch superhero. And they're already in Goku, Vegeta, and Broly are already there, along with Chilai and Limo, right? The whole gang. Goku specifically says, when Beerus is like, you guys brought Broly here? And Goku's like, yeah, we brought him here so that Frieza wouldn't find him. Yeah. I have a feeling that Frieza is looking for Broly. Whether it's to to seek to get revenge on him for fucking embarrassing him or to do something to him to get him on his fucking shit, which is crazy because I thought of this scenario and I was like, you know, what if like, you know, like, you know, we see Broly how he was, right? Like they wrote him differently for for all for better, not for worse, right? And this is the best version of the character since the original. But I want, I thought about it. I was like, you know, what if like they actually tried to write in the whole controlling of Broly aspect, right? And it was Frieza that was the one who had something that would actually work on Broly for a, for a time. And then it became a whole thing again where, because here's the thing, I'm going to also tie this in to what I also wanted to say about Frieza is that whatever is happening next, I don't think Frieza is going to be the immediate threat for a long time. I think that now that Frieza has reestablished himself as the fucking shit right now, he's a the strongest. No one's going to fucking fuck with him. I think that he's going to be reserved for a later time, but Frieza is going to be the one who sends people at them just to fuck with them. And I also believe that it will be Frieza that will send Cooler to them. We're going to see them fight Cooler before they fucking fight, try to fight Frieza again. I don't think Frieza would send Cooler to them. The only, the only you know basis i have off of that is you know obviously non-canon cooler and like seeing that they don't as brothers they don't really fuck with each other right but um if frieza really is od frieza you know like the favorite child i mean i don't really see cooler listening to him to go take out a couple of monkeys that were frieza's problem to clean up in the first place well let me let me let me let me i, I got you right now okay and frieza could do that right now if you wanted to listen he can he can he know and that's the thing frieza has regained his confidence his his yes. rightful like uh like arrogance and all that shit that makes frieza frieza right and the reason why i believe that he would even go as far as doing something like sending his brother to go handle whoever is because he is now back at the throne. Frieza doesn't have to do fucking anything because he got to that point. He has surpassed his problems, right? And so he don't have to get his hands dirty. And yes, Frieza and Cooler did not have a good relationship in the non-canon version, but this ain't no non-canon shit no more. And, and this is not legendary Broly no more either. That all that shit can get rewritten in a way that fucking benefits this fucking story way but I mean look they could still not see eye to eye they can still butt heads all they want that shit can still remain but then there's the part where we get to we were we we will visually see something we've never seen before Frieza versus Cooler where Cooler or, or like or Frieza pulls up to wherever Cooler's at and Cooler's like what are you doing here little brother and then cool and then Frieza's like I just wanted to talk. And then they don't fucking talk. They fucking fight. All right. They're fighting and Cooler's like, hmm, 
you seem to have gotten stronger. And then Frieza basically, you know, he's out here. He's like, listen, I've come to, you know, they, they try to fucking work out some kind of deal or some shit, right? And that's the whole, and that's the whole thing. And he's like, I'm trying to do whatever. And there's these, there's these uh, sayings that are still lingering around. And then maybe they could write it in where Cooler does not fucking fuck with the saying. I don't know. You know, you know how they're, they're racist. They're, they're racist, right? That's, that's the joke, right? They hate the sayings, right? So, and, and they, 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 they could work that into the explanation as to why he hasn't been seen or mentioned or referenced anything for all these fucking years. They could work. That's just, a, that's just a scenario to throw out there. But the original thing that I was trying to say, the, the whole bigger point is that Frieza is not going to be the character that they're going to have to deal with or that they're going to have to or, or, or try to find so they can de- like they could put him away again right because it's different now they're going to use frieza as their new measuring stick so that way they can continue to go through all the fucking colors of the rainbow and the skittles okay because that's just how that fucking works okay it's dragon ball they're gonna have fucking transformations on transformations whether we like it or not and that's how it goes like goku's gonna start stacking like super saiyan i mean he's already doing that he's gonna he's gonna have he's gonna have his thriving Gozar. he's gonna have the fucking master of Trinity. he's gonna have all the super saiyans and then the hair's gonna grow down he's gonna have super saiyan 3 then he's gonna have kaioken then he's gonna have kaio kaio kaioken okay he's gonna have all this craziness stacked on stacked on stacked to the point where he's just gonna look like a blob okay he's gonna have a he's gonna be a fucking blob a singular color and and it's gonna just fucking flash it's gonna give everybody a like a epileptic fucking bullshit and then no one's gonna watch dragon Ball anymore and that's how it ends okay it's gonna end with goku and vegeta having some crazy bullshit transformation that makes no sense no one's gonna have any kind of understanding but it's gonna get to that point because dragon ball right that's how it goes because that is where frieza is at right now he is the strongest done he is the strongest I briefly touched on this last week, but like, I really hate, I really hate the way they drop the Dragon Balls every single fucking arc, dude, because like literally going chronologically, Super has done this at least with, with one major topic, they've done it every single fucking arc. Like when you think about it, they literally drop the ball. They give us some like godlike information and storytelling and they drop the ball. It's like I said, I briefly touched on it, you know, like it's like building us up with something amazing. Like, you know, the original Super Saiyan God, Yamoshi, up uh, nothing, you know, Universe 6 Saiyans, up. Uh, Nothing. The ending to the Goku Black arc. Uh, <laughs> everything that ever happened to Vegeta. Uh. Yeah, no, that's and that's true though too. And that's the other shitty part about all of this is that they give us something great, and then they just they just let it let leave it there. You know, like just drop it. Yeah. So that's what I was trying to say was that I feel like this could be a way to tie in superhero because superhero technically, oh, well, not technically, it definitely happens after these fucking events. And it would make sense that, you know, on their way, I mean, even if they end up on Planet Viewers right now, like, at, like immediately after this whole thing happens, which is clearly what's happening, on that planet, after they have their little fucking yakisoba, it could literally be Goku and Vegeta having a conversation being like, yo, um, we should probably go get Broly because who knows if Freeze is trying to go after him or, you know, because he kind of fucking wiped the floor with him. And Broly is a strong guy who we really should train because now they really need his help, bro. Think about it. They need all hands on deck if and whenever Frieza decides to come back around, son. But do they, though? This is why I feel like they wrote themselves into another fucking hole. Why? Why do they need somebody else's help? Why the fuck would they? They are Goku and Vegeta. <laughs> they don't need anybody else's help. They just need to train and surpass Frieza. How are they going to do that? Frieza got a whole decade on them. Well, clearly there's no room to the chime chamber. So throw their asses back in. Yeah, I, I also I also I'm not, I'm not saying I'm not saying that's what I want to see, but I'm saying like logically speaking here, why the fuck is that not their first their next move? Well, Weiss will probably have something in store for them as far as being able to get on par with Freeze's new level and everything like that. I that's don't how think it, so. that's how that's how it seems at least, because I know Weiss probably knows how strong Frieza is at this point. And Beerus should be worried because Beerus sleep. I know he's sleep, but what <laughs> if Weiss tells him this information as far as Frieza can just 
surpassed like like Goku and Vegeta and everything like that. And he's probably stronger than Gogeta, etc. Then Beerus might have might fucking be awake now. Like like I don't fucking know. But that's a whole other side topic, honestly. I'm just saying yeah. like we's probably you know, we gotta remember. I don't I don't think I don't think Beerus would care though. And the the only reason I say that, even though you know he's got a destruction, blah blah blah, he's not gonna care because how did Frieza come back to life in the first place? They brought him back officially. They brought him back as a, as a thank you. And so, like, what's what's we's gonna do? Be like, oh, by the way, that nigga I resurrected on your command, yeah, he's uh wreaking havoc. Beerus is gonna be like, ah, eh, well, you know. Yeah, no, because th- like to them, it's a it's a balance thing, you know. Like there has exactly. yeah, like that's why, like so. They they're not supposed to get involved, right? But uh, clearly they help them out. <laughs> clearly they get involved. clearly they get involved, right? When whenever they feel like it, because you know as long as they don't get caught, you know what I'm saying? Like that's just kind of how it works. But at the end of the day, it's like you know to them it's a show. Like they're like us. Like we're just fucking reading and watching it happen right before our eyes. Except the difference is that they have direct influence whenever they fucking Dude. want to. Beerus, uh, not 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 Beerus. Frieza, Frieza needs to kill Beerus. Dude, if he does that, Frieza needs to kill Beerus. That's it, done. I'm not gonna elaborate on anything. I'm not... it needs to happen. Well, you know, you know the quickest way to do that is right. He don't have to even fucking touch him. He can just go to the Supreme Kai. Boom. I know. Done. I know. And then that's one less thing he has to worry Three. about. Two less things he has to worry about. We will be gone. Oh well, that's true too. It's a package deal. Oh yeah. See, if Frieza does, if listen, if Frieza makes moves like that, if Frieza ooh. pulls a Goku Black. <laughs> Oh, hey, maybe, maybe, maybe it's a thing about the name. You know what I'm saying? All the black characters. All the real nigga shit that happens. <laughs> oh shit, yo, that would be crazy <laughs> if you think about it like that. Um, oh yeah, cause like he's been plotting. He's been plotting to overthrow all the gods and have his turn and this and that. Yeah. Since, like you know, before TOP days, he's been he's literally been sitting waiting his turn. Yeah, he. I mean, Frieza's that kind of character that he would. He will bite the hand that fed him eventually. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Oh, that's that good shit. <laughs> <laughs>